Good morning, the sun is shining, it's nice and warm, so we're gonna try what we did yesterday again. So yesterday was Monday and the funicular was open to go up San Cristobal, but the cable car was closed. And I really, really wanted to do both, so I didn't end up doing it yesterday, but I'm gonna go back today and do it, because today both are open. It's about 8,000, so 8 euros for the funicular up and then I think going back down with the cable cars. But you can also do unlimited for 10 euros, so you can keep going up and down, up and down. <laughs> I think if you have kids it might be nice. I've also extended my stay with one more night because tomorrow I am going to Valparaiso to see my friend. I don't think I'll be doing any filming then, but I'm so excited to see her. <laughs> but I will put the opening hours and money and whatever on the screen. get from up here are incredible now I think you can continue up higher by just walking so that's what I'm gonna do also I'm taking the cable car down I'm not entirely sure where it leaves from <laughs> but there's like cafes and stuff downstairs so I can always ask people there of Christ the Redeemer but smaller and female but very cool now this is what I call a view very very nice there's a lot of religious statues and crosses on the top including a church um, but it's very beautiful I think that's pretty much all there's to see at the top I'm not entirely sure but I'm gonna slowly figure out where the cable car leaves from. I definitely want to just chill on a bench for a bit and just enjoy the view. I think it might be time to head down the mountain. How cool is this? They gave me my own car. I think, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights and this is not good. <laughs> But they gave me my own card. I think there's up to they can, they can whoa they can fit up to six people in here. But I think it's just me, so they just gave one to me. This is very very cool. I think the biggest reason for that is that I've got this entire thing to myself, private cable car. This reminds me a lot of the cable car in Hong Kong that we did. That was a lot more expensive but also very very cool and the views were great. If you're not planning on doing anything in Santiago or you just want to do one thing to do this, like the vernacular was very very cool and then you take the cable car back down. Together I paid less than 10 euros which is super super inexpensive. The cable car does drop you off elsewhere, it's not the same starting point as where you get the funicular. I'm not entirely sure where, but I think it's gonna be the same amount of walking time back to the hostel later, about like 40 minutes maybe, so fine. <laughs> I think I 
taken at least 200 photos of the view zone, but this is a lot of fun. I think this might be the best thing I've done in Santiago. And I really, really liked the market yesterday, so yeah, well worth doing. And it's very inexpensive, so. than I thought it would, but I can always figure out if I can take the metro or something. Um, if it's anything under an hour, I'm just gonna walk it, but I think I'm a little bit further than I thought I would be. It is just under an hour to walk back to my hostel. I also need to do some grocery shopping and at the grocery store you can do cash back because I'm running out of cash. So I'm gonna do all of that and then I think head back to the hostel for a bit and maybe go out later. <laughs> 